Hello, welcome to another Daddy James Films up Webs.com video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you how to create a hard drive password. Now, I'm not talking about the uh, easy to crack uh, pa Windows password. Windows password is pretty much easy to bypass. I'm sure there's a lot of videos on there. I'm also going to go ahead and do one anyways, just in case I get people to ask. Plus, my way to bypass the password or to change the password, it's a little bit more easier to do. So I'm going to do a video on how to do that as well. Sorry, I keep going into long explanations in my video, but I need to do that because I like to be thorough in my videos for people that might not know. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and explain to you what a hard drive lock is. If you already know what it is, then you can skip ahead on this video to on how to do it. Now, many computers give you the option to set a hard disk password along with the operating system passwords and BIOS passwords. This is different from encryp encryption. A hard drive password doesn't actually encrypt your files. Hard drive passwords fall into a weird middle ground. Uh, on one hand, they can disable as uh, access to your hard drive and be inconvenient if you lose the passwords. On the other hand, they don't protect your files uh, like a four disk en encryption uh, would. Me personally, I don't really like doing that for this encryption, but if you feel like that you really need to protect your files and stuff like that, then you should do one. And I got a video on how to decrypt your hard drive as well. So how do, uh, how do a hard disk password work? Hard disk passwords are uh, part of a ATA specification. If your computer supports a hard, drive, hard disk passwords, you will uh, likely find this option, option in the BIOS screen. Look, uh, look in security or password section. Whereas an operating system password control whether you can log in after you are booted the computer and a virus password controls whether you can boot, uh, boot the computer at all, a hard disk password controls access to the hard disk itself. When you boot to your computer, you need to enter a hard disk password. If you don't know your hard disk password, your hard disk will be locked and won't function. Okay, you might be asking yourself, well, why even use a hard disk uh, lock? Unlike BIOS and operating system password, a hard disk password protects your data even if someone opens up your computer and removes the hard disk. The hard disk password is stored in the disk drive's fir firmware itself. Using a hard disk password does help protect your files, un unlike an operating system password or a BIOS password. Now, a hard drive lock can be inconvenient if you don't remember your password I mean make sure that you're gonna remember this password write it down somewhere put it on your phone because if you forget it well basically your hard drive is gonna be a brick you know it's gonna be useless because there might be a way to bypass it and I'm sure there probably is but it is very difficult and you and I can't find anywhere online on how to uh, how to delete the a hard drive password so like I said, if you if you forget the password, where the hard drive is going to be a brick. Now there's ways, there's a simple ways for this fix. If you come across somebody with a computer with a hard drive lock, and you can just simply buy another hard drive, put it in there, and then reinstall Windows that way. But as far as getting into that hard drive itself, it is it. it darn near impossible. I mean, it's possible, but you really got to know what you're doing, and I, you can't really find, I, I searched online, I couldn't really find anything online on how to fix that, except for removing the hard drive and putting a new hard drive in. Okay, so you decided to go ahead and lock up your hard drive. Well, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. The first thing that you need to do is restart your computer, and when you restart your computer, you need to get into the BIOS. You might be asking yourself, how do I get into the BIOS? Well, different computers have different ways to get into the BIOS. The best thing to do is, you, oh, well, you can check a, you know, your manufacturer's website and see how to get into the BIOS. But most typically, it'll pretty much tell you, uh, tell you how to get into it whenever you restart your computer and you see the manufacturer of your computer's logo to come up, as you can see like in these examples here. Now, sometimes you might have a problem with the boot screen. It, it might actually kind of boot up pretty fast. So, you, you, you can't really see what key you're supposed to press. So the best thing to do is whenever it uh, you turn it on and it loads up the boot screen there, the best thing to do is hit the pause break 
uh, key that's on your keyboard and typically it is located on the upper right hand side uh, normally one of the top keys there it's not always in the same spot on every keyboard but it's in that direction as you can see in this picture okay once you get into the BIOS now the BIOS on each computer is not the same uh, well some of the computers the BIOS look the same and then some of them they might look a, a little bit different as you can see in these examples here now these BIOS here that I just showed you here are the most common ones that you would come across when you're trying to you know to lock your hard drive and stuff like that but there are also other kind of BIOS too that would be a little bit more confusing like some of these that I'm going to show you here typically those come in computers uh, you know with special motherboards or uh, if you build your own computer or something like that you know typically your motherboard will have a special kind of BIOS now for this video I'm going to show you how to do it with this BIOS here and you know normally with the other BIOS it's uh, it's normally kind of similar for the rest of them as well you might have to look for a little bit of a different wording and stuff like that okay now to do this what you need to do is go ahead and click on the security tab from there you will see where you can set your hard drive password now for some of them they might have a little bit of a different wording now as you can see in this picture right here uh, it's worded a little bit different it says set user password and set supervisor password uh, I believe the set user password in this case would be the hard drive lock and the set supervisor password would be the BIOS lock oh by the way you can also put a BIOS lock on here this way as well if you want a BIOS lock now the BIOS lock is the purpose of that is so that people can get into your BIOS and change stuff without you knowing about it and once you do that all you have to do is save it whenever you go to exit this program in this case it's F10 you hit save and exit or if you go to the exit tab and then you can you know save and exit from there it's going to restart your computer and when it restarts your computer you're going to see something like this sometimes it might be worded a little bit different uh, depending on your computer from there it should boot up into your computer uh, operating system whether you have Windows or if you have Linux installed on your computer it will boot up to the grub menu there you go that's how you lock up your hard drive now if you're gonna forget your password please don't do this uh, I must you know stress this fact do not forget your password because if you forget your password that hard drive is going to be a brick okay I personally I love it um, the password I got on there is pretty easy for me um, might be harder for somebody else but uh, I know I ain't gonna forget my password so make sure you don't forget your password this is basically a quick tip uh, even though this video is kinda long uh, only because I want to uh, explain the dangers in doing this uh, so that's why this video is uh, pretty long but to actually do it is actually pretty quick to do it, to do it. anyways that's it for this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe thank you